Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love, and laughter. The energy that I see from the bottom of the deck of your person coming into the reading is Ten of Swords, a feeling of defeat, a feeling of can be betrayal, a feeling that the way things have been going cannot continue. The Ten of Swords is, you know, sometimes for some, it will be a person who's just had a tough go at life. Um, and will you know, it looks like it's actually a pretty good reading here. So I do think that there is some obstacle in their life um, that has really made them feel flattened, really just like face down, tired. There is a sense, though, that they have to at least let go of some sort of argument, some sort of difficulty, some sort of communication in the relationship. Um, the Two of Swords tells me that oftentimes Sagittarius, this person doesn't really want to hear news. You know, it's like blocking off your emotions, not wanting to hear what's, what may be the truth of a situation that needs to be known. Now, they do see you as this energy of the Nine of Pentacles, single, ready to mingle, very desirable. Somebody who they really have, they hold you in high regard. When we look at the energy that you're bringing into the reading, there is a sense that your person needs to learn some things. You feel sort of like, you know, we sort of see a skull, a dead person, which does resonate with that Ten of Swords. The hollow bone is that there has been an event or a situation between the two of you that you feel caused a very abrupt ending possibly, but that it's teachable that your person, if they will listen, instead of getting all worked up, there you, you are moving out of stagnation, but it looks like your person gets pretty worked up. They stir, They kick up the dust when they're uncomfortable and they don't want to hear it. We do get your energy is also the possibility uh, of union, the sky bridge. So you're remaining very optimistic, but then Sag, you're ruled by Jupiter, the planet of optimism. When we look at your person's thoughts, we see that they feel as though the Ten of Cups, that there is a happily ever after, and they do think that they have the wherewithal. They still have fight in their belly for the relationship. They feel as though you're best friends. They feel delighted and happy and joyful. Neptune energy. That's Pisces energy. This is uh, Cancerian energy. Cups of love. They do feel as though they have to move out of a situation that they're healing from. And I get the Six of Swords twice. So it does look like there was either an argument or something said that, has, that your person feels wounded about. They do have fire in their belly for the relationship. This is the King of Pentacles. It's a daddy card, lots of passion, lots of stability. You know, they're very loyal to you. The Ten of Cups, and we have the Ten of Cups. Look at that. They feel as though the two of you can be happily ever after. They think that the two of you have everything that it takes. You have a deep sense of... Um, a deep sense of your loyalty for them you know their loyalty for you they do feel as though everything is possible you know we see the possibility for union there does have to be some healing though again now when we look at their feelings i'm getting that nine of swords you no know, nine of swords this person's all up in their head they're losing sleep over something that they need to move on from Sometimes people just misunderstand each other, but I feel very much. We have the Six of Swords, Six of Swords, trying to heal, move away into the future. They're, they're losing sleep at night. The Tower card means that whatever was happening here, whatever was said in their heart space, they really love you. That is the embodiment of Venus itself. But right now, they feel as though... They have to walk away. We have two cards of your person walking away, even though there's a tremendous amount of love. 
Now there is an outside possibility, and this will only be for a few people, that both of you could be married to other people and that you both need to move out of those relationships to come together in union. And so these two cards of leave taking could be the two of you because we do have the Empress and the Queen of Wands whenever we have a Queen of Wands in a reading. We do have to look at the potential that there is a scenario in which there could be, quote unquote, another woman, another man, but you know, it's the same energy. So we see a lot of turmoil here. When we look at their intentions with you, we see that they're trying to stay cool, calm, collected. They want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They're trying to make a head over heart decision. Four of Swords again. You know, we have Four of Swords here, which is another healing card. So it says that they intend to heal. You know, they need to heal. They haven't really talked to you. I don't think about what's going on. We get the Seven of Cups, they have their head in the clouds, they don't see things clearly. Their intention is to have a, be a beautiful, new, passionate, loving beginning with that Ace of Cups. There's a lot, it really looks like one relationship is being left behind to come into another relationship. And Sagittarius, it'll resonate differently for everybody as to who's going where. Because this looks like a super highway of relationship uh, situations. So when we look at your person's actions, we have Sagittarius energy here. We have your person has to give up a burden. They have to leave something behind. You know, the Tower card is saying that the foundation of your relationship in the heart space has gone through a shock. You know, a, a rebuilding period needs to take place for this to work. But it can also really be the shock of having someone walk away. You may have told them that you're going to walk away. You may have given them an ultimatum. Again, it's going to be a little bit different for everybody. It's a general reading. Energies can also be reversed. But when we see their actions, they must give up the burden. The Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords oftentimes falls in a reading together and it's about the dis absolute demand by spirit that you rebuild a foundation i do see an offer coming in for you it's very passionate it's like let's go to jamaica let's go to on a trip you know let's have fun let's make love all night long it's texting all night long and these are their actions again walking away from something to come into you know a relationship with you the heart of cops that is a very powerful energy of love. It's deep love. We also see the Seven of Swords. There's a sort of the sneaky peek cards I've dubbed it over the years. You know, they're not really telling you anything, but it's like they're sneaking away to see a lover. So it does look like for some of you, you may be traveling during the holidays to see each other and explore the relationship, see what can be done. But this is very, it's almost like two people uh, each leaving a significant commitment that they've had uh, to find each other in a love relationship. The lover's card is a soulmate card. You know, it's, um, but that Ten of Cups is just absolutely, you know, you may have been married to high school sweethearts with different people. The two of you may be married and have separated and are coming back together. But with the secrecy card, I really think for most of you, it's going to be two people, you know, finding each other over a long period of time because there has been a soulmate connection, you know, very much a hidden, a hidden relationship. So let's go ahead and clarify a few of these cards before we look at uh, the outcome cards for you by the tarot. Let's see what we have here. Why do we have the Ten of Swords? Why is it here? Daughter of Swords, okay. So the Daughter of Swords is a Page of Swords, spying on each other, the World card. Something has ended. So one way I can interpret that is there, there may have been something that was seen online. I often liken this to 
family pictures where, you know, if a lover is looking at your site and they see family pictures, they just assume it's a happy family and feel completely defeated, alone, and sad, feeling as though there is no future for the two of you. But the World card actually is a very successful card. So why do we have the Daughter of Swords here? Hangman, yep. Okay, so something somebody saw online is causing, um, quote unquote, an ending here that's at least temporary because I get the Two of Swords. I do get the Father of Pentacles, the Father of Pentacles. Even though you're upset or your person's upset, both of you really want to talk to each other. You want to work through this. It looks as though you haven't spoken maybe in a bit. Yep, Three of Swords. Okay. So Three of Swords is would fall into very much alignment with this. I believe this is probably, for most of you, a third-party situation. And you can read that a million different ways. I always, you know, to me this would be a classic third-party situation, though. It looks like there's two marriages. Why do we have the Nine of Pentacles here? The Son of Pentacles. So there's that offer coming in. There's a nice offer coming in. We also, the Son of Pentacles is a Knight of Pentacles. We also get the Page of Pentacles. So the energy here is that an offer is coming in for you. So let's see why we have, why do we have the Six of Swords? I'm going to only clarify it once. The Four of Cups. Oh, feeling very caught in a stagnant situation juggling two six of swords so again my feeling is that this is a possibly a clandestine love relationship that's been going on for quite a while it looks like you're madly in love with each other the tower card is a five of cups something said or done in terms of heart space has been very wounding for your person the five of cups is they feel as though they're owed an apology or they owe one Eight of Swords, they're just, I would say that your person's gone quiet on you. Ten of Coins, okay. So your person looks like they've walked away or they're walking away from a legacy marriage and to walk towards fulfillment. These are cards of leaving something behind to your happiness, to get to your Ten of Cups. That Eight of Cups goes to the Ten of Cups. The Eight of Cups goes to the Ten of Coins. That's a legacy marriage. So again, it really underscores what I'm seeing here is it looks like both of you are leaving to come together. The Four of Swords, we see the Devil card. You know, there's any time you're in a secret relationship, there is toxicity. You know, we see the rat, which would be defined as somebody who is creating a betrayal, you know, is spoiling the cups of, of love, basically. So it does speak to the fact that that has to be healed. We have the Queen of Wands here. What do we have? Tell us about that, please the three of coins you might have worked together you might have done projects together but the two of you are quite good together why is the king of swords here why do we see the king of swords four of swords again the need to heal two times now we've seen a lot of doubles here we have the ten of cups I mean, we, we have a lot of doubles. You know, we see a lot of double cards. Okay. And the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands clarifying the Ten of Wands. The Four of Swords and the Four of Swords. The Six of Swords and the Six of Swords. So, what do we? Ha why do we have the Seven of Cups? The Death card. Okay. So, it does look like your person intends to end a relationship to be able to come to you for a new beginning. So, that looks as though, you know, it's a in the past they've kept their options before open before but now it looks like your person's making a definitive position excuse me taking a definitive position to make a decision all right so why do we see these cards are just you know these are their actions are very enthusiastic very loving why is the seven of swords here ah the seven of cups okay so again, I do feel as though there could have been a spouse who dis discovered something. There, This leaving a relationship could have happened in any combination of ways that you can think of. The Seven of Cups, though, is a card of illusion. And that illusion and the card of the Sneaky Pete, 
going behind the scenes to meet each other clandestine relationship in the magician card now we have gemini energy twice with a virgo energy thrown in to solve the problems so i'll i would say this it looks like it's a third party situation sag for those with whom it resonates you don't have to be married to somebody you could just have a significant long-term relationship it doesn't have to be um, marriage certified but it does look like both of you are leaving a relationship or you know to come together in union the outcome card for you is focus wizard of the woods focus on one another we see the card of renewal frog spirit being able to really focus on this relationship and the guardians of the land are protecting you with that lover's card so Sagittarius, quite happy birthday, by the way. I want to wish all of you a merry, merry month and year ahead. Um, so I just want to leave it there for you. But I do uh, broadcast from Chicago. And so please send me love. I'm sending you love from Chicago. Send love from wherever you're at around the globe watching this video. And uh, let me know what you think. Thanks so much, Sag. Bye-bye.